Faithful, what's going on? Captain Crush here back in the mix. We got a playoff game today, the Eastern Conference Finals, the Celtics versus the Poverty Pacers. It rolls off the tongue. I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet. We're going to shop the odds. We're going to look at the projections. We're going to do it all. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe if you want daily fantasy sports content that's going to focus on making you better and not just spoon feed you like your mama. And whether you're new, old, a crafty veteran, whatever, smash the like button like mama taught you right. And with that being said, let's get into the mix it is taco tuesday so you get a taco you get a taco everybody's getting tacos and for me it's no hat tuesday but the fact of the matter is this prize picks is actually giving us tacos of old look at this discount it's literally half 50 percent off now prize picks is now available back in the arena states like florida massachusetts and so forth so maybe they're just giving us 50 percent off their tacos to promote arena states or maybe it's going to be a permanent fixture again and we can go back to taking all the tacos and crushing them and loving it i don't know we'll we'll have to wait and see but just so everybody's aware you normally ain't getting 50 percent off for their taco promotions it's normally 25 percent maybe 30 percent if you're lucky so you must take all these tacos and with the other taco options i saw that looked crispy too i actually have web projected for five so i will tell you to go ahead and take it personally I take all tacos anyways, fella. So without further ado, let's see what else we got. Well, there was another thing. I know this is an NBA video, but real quick, I wanted to talk about the man, the myth, the legend, Aaron Judge. All rise, right, for Judge. Get out of here with that nonsense. He is on a heater. He's playing well. He cashed me on his fantasy score yesterday with seven and a half against the poverty Mariners. Yeah, they're poverty. Sorry, Seattle fans. And then you can see the worst team in baseball, Chicago White Sox. He soared except for one game. Hitter fantasy scores are very up and down. Down, they're hard to hit they basically gotta perform it's the hardest thing ever in all of sports besides hitting a hole in one is hitting a professional baseball or should i say a baseball thrown by a professional pitcher okay in the major leagues that's the hardest thing in sports to do now aaron judge more one and a half hits runs and rbis is going in the mix I'll have exposure to it. You know, Captain Crush, I will ride this train until I'm forced off. And right now, that train is going choo-choo, chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga, choo-choo, and we're riding. So if he sells, he sells. I'm playing on house coin. So I think that's good. And with that, let's go over to NBA. Yesterday, I know we did WNBA. We odd shopped, and it ended up being poverty. Like I told y'all, nobody knows WNBA right now. It's all just guessing. If anyone tries to show you a winning slip and be like, see, I'm a WNBA. NBA expert go ahead and ask them to name the five starters on each team and when they can't even give you one you know they're just guessing two anybody can get lucky at the end of the day it's 50 50 y'all it's gonna be more or less now we can improve our edge either way to get 54 to 55 percent but at the end of the day it's still 50 50 with these two options either it goes more or it goes less to take it a step further if you created three plays and just flipped a coin for each of them heads more tails less you'd end up even at the end of it because it's just 50 50 dog granted you'd be down long term especially since you have to parlay these guys but let's get cooking so you got this this by the time this video is published it's going to be a new taco my play of the day baby the play of the day everybody wants to know it's jalen brown are we getting phantom of the opera the masked man jalen brown or are we getting i'm a boston celtic jalen brown i'm soft as cake kobe would be disappointed pointed in me Jalen Brown which JB are we getting are we getting 150 to 300 million Jalen Brown or are we getting I'm Jalen Brown I'm going out there I'm gonna score 18 points Jalen Brown what are we getting here 10 point spread you gotta factor that in but you want to know it's crispy this right here, baby. Jalen Brown, more 38 and a half fantasy points. He's 40 on draft games, 40 on MGM, 39 on Poverty Vada. That's Bo Vada for the layman. As you can see here, we're getting some value. Now, here's the fly in the ointment because there's always a fly in the ointment. We're gambling number one, so you know there's no locks. There's nothing free. There's no guarantees, comment guy. I don't care what you say. Number two, it's a blowout spread. It's a 10-point spread in an Eastern Conference final game. The Poverty Pacers are the worst team to make the Eastern Eastern Conference Finals since I can remember. Don't even get me started on the Mavs on the other side of it. My goodness. But if the Celtics don't sweep the Pacers, I'm going to be disappointed. So my favorite Jalen Brown play, and I'm pretty sure he's going to end up being the taco, unfortunately, but would be 22 and a half points. Gabby! The Gabby! 
The Gabby at 22 and a half points. I think that's crispy. But for the full payout, I would just go right over here to his fantasy score. I'm getting value. Got him projected for, I think, 39. So I think it's all right. But I will say this. If this game blows out, all bets are off, y'all. And they are the Celtics. That is what they do. They blow teams out. The Pacers are in their spot because they faked the funk on a nasty dunk. And a lot of teams got injured. Look at the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis, Lillard, Middleton. All three of them bit the dust. Specifically Giannis. Otherwise, that series would have been a sweep. And then the New York Knicks. My boy Tibbs. Tibbs, what are you doing? You played your guys for. 40 plus minutes all season long and it finally caught up to him. I love the Knicks because they get big minutes and it's easy to predict what they're going to do, but they all ended up paying the price. Randall, OG Ananobi, Mitchell Robinson, and then in the end, Josh Hart, the man, the Iron Man himself, 48 minute man. Paying homage to you, Skywalker, but the true 48 minute man, Josh Hart, abdominal tear, and then lastly, Jalen Brunson, the king of New York. They fell victim to a long season and playing big minutes. So that let the Pacers ride right off into the sunset into the Eastern Conference Finals, baby. So we got decisions to make. If you think it's going to be a blot, you think they were faking the funk, you can go right over here to Jalen Brown's first half points. It's usually 12 and a half. They got it up at 13. You are paying a premium. Him. You could take his PRA at 17 and a half. He does stuff the stat sheet. Either one of these three, you get my blessing. Remember, before you come at me, comment guy, the priority is his Gobby points, okay? And if you notice something, look how tight this is. The Gobby should be at 20, but it's only a three point differential. Prize Picks is tightening up the Gobbies right now, and that is all that there is to it, man. But 22 and a half points. Even his PRA could be in the mix, but I just went fantasy and the gobby. So that is my favorite play today. That will be the thumbnail. Let's go, Jalen Brown. Let's get it done. Don't sell. The boys need you like air. Now, if we go over here to outlier bet and we look at the head-to-heads with Brown versus the Pacers, he's been swamping them. He's been smashing them. They're 27th in points allowed. If I put it to the target, the SF, small forward, it's 28th. But let's just call Jalen Brown a shooting guard. They're 28th. If you get the picture, the Pacers play fast. They give up a lot of points. Jalen Brown has cooked them all season long, and I believe that he's in a position again to cook them even more, brother. So lock in that gobby. I think it's crispy, and that's what I'm going with. If he sells, he sells, y'all. It is what it is. It's game one. You can't really predict much in game one. We got to see the matchups. So let's head on over back to prize picks. Now, I got to talk about someone, Al Horford. Yes, sir, Al Horford. I took less at 26 and a half fantasy. Then he moved down to 25 or 26. Now he's at 25 and a half. Now, they did this the other day remember and what happened bang a 55 burger from the crafty veteran rickety knees and all oh, baby he sold us all but do you really think he's gonna have another ceiling game a career game if you do fade this like the plague but you may be able to get it on underdog or sleeper or something less than 25 not sleeper underdog or parlay play at 26 and that you could take less now at as a hedge i took more one and a half blocks and steals because i think if he gets three blocks blocks and steals he's soaring over the fantasy but if he only gets two he can stay under fantasy and I can cash both so that's my opinion on old man Horford you know how he is he's either gonna soar under or soar over that's just the Horford way we got to avoid those blocks and steals that's where most of his equity comes in but I took over one and a half blocks and steals to shield me sort of so what are we gonna do with the Pacers well I locked in Hallie Burton less eight and a half assists I don't really know if there's any value there now at eight I'm probably not doubling down on that I'm gonna keep it a buck here Hallie Burton when he got injured he came back and he was never the same but lately you're seeing flickers of the former Hallie Burton the superstar Hallie Burton and it's kind of looking like he's finally getting his rhythm again now I can't be 100% sure because the Knicks were so banged up now they're gonna be facing a real team no hate on the Knicks. They got injured, but we're going to have to wait and see. Now, Underdog had his points at 18 and a half for a split second, and I was all over it like white on rice. But now he's at 19 on prize picks. I believe he was at 19 and a half. Now you're going to have to make a decision. I will say this. His shot looks way better. It passes the eye test than before. I got him personally projected for 19.5. It's going to be a sweat. I am not telling you to take over at 19. If you can find it at 18 and a half, that would be what you take over on. That's my take on Halliburton. Burton. Who knows, man? These playoffs have been 
freaking so weird. Anything can happen. These guys can surprise us all. Now, Smith is one of those guys. Let me go back to DG. Let's odd shop together now, shall we? You can see Siakam, less 35 and a half fantasy points, is the top rated play right now via the odds. And then my boy Jalen Brown, which is good, which signals Jalen Brown's going to get bumped. Siakam's going to get bumped down. So if you just want to take these two as a two-man pair, you know you're getting 54% or higher. That's a good two-man. You could take Siakam less, 10 and a half RA. This one, I actually like. Siakam and Tatum under 50 and a half points. I like that a lot. Why? Because even if Tatum gets 30, Siakam would still need to get 21. And we all know Siakam plays hit or miss. He soars over or he just ghosts. So I think that one's good. I actually put it in a couple of my lineups. Here's Al Horford, one and a half blocks and steals. Wow, that's actually plus EV. I would have never thought. Aaron Neesmith is projected at 18, 18, and 19 over here. But here's the thing. I think they're going to need him today. So for that reason, I'm actually going to flip the script and go more on Neesmith Fantasy, but I think it may move down to 19, so I'm going to wait on it, okay? So Neesmith here at 20, I would wait, wait to see if it drops to 19, maybe 19.5, and then take it. I would tell you to take more right now, but you can see that it's favored to go under at 20, so with other calculations having it at 18 and 18, prize picks may adjust it, so I'm going to wait on that. And then once you get down to the 52%, you're pretty much in no man's land. But like I tell you guys, this is an amazing tool. Get it. Use code CRUSH, 25% off. The link's in the description. It has everything. And if you're doing esports and not using odd shopping to get it, you're absolutely drawing dead long term. I don't care what anyone tells you. They got baseball, Ranger Suarez, less two and a half earns earned runs allowed that was actually my my next play for you guys i didn't even know it was plus ev it wasn't on there earlier but we already got it locked in if you're in the discord you would know that already so we already have that plugged in you can pair that with jalen brown whatever you want and then my wnba play i like is dierica hamby unfortunately she's the most popular play on the board her fantasy score but i actually think she's gonna hit it i like the matchup but if you want to take something that's not popular you could take her points with Ariel Atkins and go over right here more than 35, but she stuffs the, the stat sheet, so I do want to just take her fantasy score. Remember, y'all, we're just guessing with WNBA right now, okay? The, I need more data points to be able to go by. Looking at last season stuff doesn't mean much to me because rotations are different, players are different, all the teams are shaken up for the most part. And then if you're looking for something WNBA first half, Asia Wilson, 12 and a half points. She shot terrible last game and sold this but my brothers and sisters in christ she has 20 point upside every first half i'm not afraid of phoenix i will have exposure to this it's a risk especially because it's first half also we're just guessing with wnba but i think that's fine so let me put something together real quick i'll build a lineup for y'all the youtube faithful but first, let me do my victory lap from yesterday, y'all. In the Discord, this was yesterday was a light day for me, but my MLB, I got to take my lap. Joe Ross, less five and a half hits allowed. I had him projected for 5.3. He was plus EV, kind of, and cash it. Same with my boy, Michael Waka Waka over here. But you know what? I call him Watcha deal with it that ain't walk it's watch i don't care less five strikeouts projected for four and a half cash it waka waka flame baby plus olsen less nine strikeouts cash that and then bradley more 11 and a half strikeout combo my boy bradley and tanner they got that done more 11 and a half strikeouts it hit and then the goblins oh the gobbies because they had that promotion yesterday hey yo pablo more four and a half k's cash it and yoshi more four and a half k's cash it six and oh for my mlb yesterday and i gave you guys the projections right here which is how i made these plays absolute surgical stroman cashed a lot of people at his pitching outs y'all if you want to get in the mix you got to get in my discord this is where you'll get my plays my projection sheets that look just like that access to my monday through friday live streams which are down here monday through friday we cook together i answer your questions we do it all i have other members in the cord posting 
lineups and contests and slips for you to tail every single day across every sport. Oh my goodness, I didn't want to do it, but I guess I'm going to have to give Wana a shout out. My God. Okay, so yesterday when I was chilling, Wana made a three man. I guess him and Sketch, they piggybacked off of my Yoshi call, whatever they want to say. Jock Peterson, Will Smith, two demons. Wana absolutely got his W. Let's see if Wana can maintain his discipline. We will see. The beanie man got in the mix. He's been doing well since he's been in the court, actually. Iceberg swept both of his. He tailed. Showtime had a great weekend. Good, buddy. I'm glad you guys made some coin. And then most of the people that tailed won his contest, they're not even posting under the right section. They post in the general chat. I don't understand why, but Wana and Sketch, specifically Wana, you can have, this is your victory lap. It paid 7.5x. He cashed out the court. And I have members that do that every single day, y'all. So get in the mix. You go to captaincrush.net, scroll all the way down to the gold package. Buy now, it's $24.99 a month. Bang! You will get your coin worth, you'll get your value. I give you guys the best value around. I put my heart and soul into this, guys. I'm available pretty much six days out of a seven day week, almost like 18 hours a day, y'all. Uh, seriously, I mean that. So if you need a home, you want a cord to jip and jive all summer long, I will be teaching you guys the process, get in the mix. Now, let's build up that contest together boys well it looks like prize picks took off ranger suarez less two and a half earned runs they're smart they're smart you got to be quick but chalkboard literally has like six discounts today their competition at taco tuesday i will post that in post edit you can take ranger over there with the discount and it'll pay 3x and you can put 20 dollars on it i will post these up in the post edit i know you can't see it there so don't sleep on chalkboard y'all promo code crush you can get all these tail their discounts are primo and premium too y'all all right, so for prize picks, you could put Hamby, Browns Fantasy, or his Gobby. Take Aaron Judge, one and a half hits, runs, RBIs if you want. Siakam under, remember we saw that was major plus EV. And then Tatum's Gobby rebounds, I like it, but I am a little bit concerned now that it's a new matchup if he's going to get that. That is high. This used to be his normal line, but these would be the five that you could put in. You can mix and match. Do whatever you want. Y'all get creative. It's Taco Tuesday. Swap any of them out. Take two-man pairs. Do whatever have you. I'm just a guy wearing a Walmart oh wait I don't have a hat on today I'm just a guy trying to do the Lord's work for you guys man so if you go over to parlay play you can take Tatum's more eight and a half rebounds there and get a slightly better payout same thing with Jalen Brown's 22 and a half points and then with Neesmith you can slide the line down to 19 and a half fantasy points instead of just 20 and I took more over there remember I think it's going to drop on prize picks and when it does I will take it there but for now on parlay play this is my three man over there and if you want to take out tatum and just do these two you absolutely could it's up to you guys remember promo code crush on parlay play that gets you in the mix same thing with chalkboard underdog sleeper and you get 30 days of my discord free just for depositing and signing up with one of my partners that includes dg fantasy new members only obviously now before i close let's took it look at underdog real quick and shop it you can see al horford less seven and a half rebounds minus 136 on pinnacle hardaway less five and a half points minus 137 hallie burton less 19 and a half points is minus 128 and then diana tarasi three and a half rebounds it's okay so those four but i will say this they have a ton of pga value up right now i'm telling you right now underdog is now the king of pga fantasy period they are the kings king of the road and because of that i'm going to post a pga contest right up here for you guys it's absolutely plus ev now the payouts with golf are a little different because you can the way the game works if you don't understand it i made a video about it a while back but i promise you i swept round one two and three and then round four i missed but that's how golf is last tournament in that major i will do it again this contest the charles schwab and here's a preview of just how much value there is i mean this is absolutely insane you guys you have to get in the mix on this you guys it's absolutely absurd i promise you this value is gonna be here and gone today promo code crush on underdog promo code crush on dg fantasy lock all these in and get in the mix folks i hope you have a great taco tuesday thank you for stopping by smash that like button like mama taught you right hit the subscribe pay the toll no your role join the cord let's do god's work together here's the salute and as always my brothers and sisters of christ let's crush <laughs>